Hey guys, what's happening? So, just picked up this uh, Dynamite LiPo uh, low plug igniter. I thought I'd show you some of the basics of how this thing operates, but it's definitely an improvement over the older design. The uh, This is actually a nickel metal hydrate glow plug. Had this for a couple years, and um, but I, I thought I'd show you some of the unique features about this thing and how this thing actually operates. Uh, how you know, a LiPo battery typically is about 4.2 volts, and a glow plug igniter runs on 1.2 volts. But I wanted to do some tests and uh, kind of show you things, what you can and can't do with this thing. But uh, they also, they don't even explain it in its manual. Like, what I'm mainly concerned about is uh, front charging. Like with this, uh, the nickel metal hydrate charger, I charge it from, I front charge it. Like I don't, take, I don't, I basically don't take the cell out and charge it from the front. Um, so this this actual the nickel metal hydrate cell is 1.2 volt, so I can front charge it because it's the same voltage as the glow plug. What it requires 1.2 volt, but the problem with a lipo charger is that the cell is 4.2 volt. I can tell that also by the charger because it says 4.2 volt. But you're using like a voltage regulator module to, to step it down to 1.2 volt. So that's why I'm thinking you can't front charge it. Uh, because there's actually a battery port here in the back. But let me, I'll, I'll write down on paper how this thing actually operates. Alright, so here is the LiPo cell, which is 4.2 volt, which then, it's most likely, I haven't taken it apart yet. I'm actually trying to find a way to take it apart. It's going to hit a voltage regulator module, or also known as a buck converter, and that's going to step it down to. 1.2 volt. And this is going to typically be like a like a PCB or some kind of integrated circuit here, and also works as a, probably a charging circuit somewhere in here. And then it steps it down to the glow plug. Sorry, my writing sucks here. Um, so that steps it down to 1.2 for the glow plug. But then you probably also have off this battery uh, maybe another charging circuit. That's where you actually hook up the AC adapter to. So that's why I'm thinking you can't front load this thing because you can't, if you send 4.2 volts back to the front of this thing, the tip of this thing, it's going to burn it out. Like a lot of these chargers, so on this one I actually have this, uh, I front charge it, I front load it. You know, like I said, I can send 1.2 volt through the front of this thing, but if I try to send voltage back to here, it's probably going to burn out this VRM right here. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. So, that is kind of annoying. So. If you wanted to charge this, you know, uh, I'd have to probably come back and go, uh, there's even a cable for this, I'm not sure. You know, so if I was in my car and I only had a 12 volt source, I would have to find a way to, um, you know, basically create like a, this, like an adapter plug here for this thing. So, because a lot of people when they're out off-roading, you're not going to actually have a 110 volt source, unless you have an inverter, but. All right, so I'm going to hook my multimeter up to this thing and see what I'm getting output. I mean, it should be one, two. If it's more than 1.2 volt, you're going to be burning out glow plugs. The little coil in the glow plug will burn out. So pretty good though, 4.4 watts though. I mean, definitely a lot more powerful than the old nickel metal hydrate cells. But all right, I'll get my multimeter real fast. All right, so I guess I'm wrong. Take a look at this. Here's my multimeter. Put the positive in the center, negative on the outside. I'm getting 4.2 volt. So, if you're sending higher voltage, then you have to send less current. So, I'd like to take this thing apart and figure it out, but yeah, that's weird. I, I, would, I would think that would be the opposite. Because I've actually had other glow plug igniters that did this, and they stepped it down to 1.2 volt. So, so possibly you could front charge this thing. So, I mean, like right at this point, I'm just troubleshooting. <laughs> like, this was all just a guess. This is how OCD I am here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing open. I'm trying to bust open, but then I figured, okay, well, it felt like it was something holding it back. Okay, so one screw, one Phillips, so don't bother trying to blow it open. Let's get this thing open here. I need to know how this thing works. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing open. All right, so in case I ever had, I want to see what the cell looks like. Yeah, so it's a pretty extensive charging circuit here. I want to see what the cell looks like. If I can even get to it. Uh, that seems like it would 
it would like literally burn out like glow plugs at 4.2 volt full. I mean, now that we're stepping down the current, so you have a couple, it's like charging, I mean, it's a, it's a charging circuit, so this is definitely not like a basic thing, but I mean, can you front load this thing? It doesn't seem like you'd be able to front load this thing. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to do some more experimentation with this, but this is what it looks like internally. Uh, I'd love to be able to see what kind of cells in there. Let's hook up a little glow plug to this thing real fast and see how this... At a 4.2 amp volt output. So we are getting some glow. Alright, so it didn't burn it out. I mean, I've already fired my engine up a couple times with this, but... It just seems like I said, the whole 4.2 volt output, so... But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really say, it says it's in, in, the, in the warnings, it says you can't, con don't connect an AC and a DC source at the same time. So what do they mean, front load? They don't say specifically that you can either, either can or cannot front load this thing. I mean, front loading meaning connected to the front of this thing, you know, to my, basically my charger. So, all right, charge your own wrist, I guess, but. All right, so I got the thing back together. Um, let me know your comments down below. What do you think of this thing? If you can front load this thing or not, uh, you know, front load charge. Um, just because uh, it's a lipo battery, and these things are explosive. <laughs> so if you do the wrong thing, I mean, this thing could pop on my workbench or wherever you're at and start a fire. So, um, I mean, I could probably wish that this probably would have been more of like a uh, like an 18650 cell, like a lipo battery versus or not lipo, but uh, lithium ion. Because lithium ion are a lot more stable than the lipos. Lipos are volatile. So, yeah, let me know in your comments below if you guys have uh, done any front-loading on these things. But, alright guys, cool.